So how many of you have heard of a figure by the name of uh, Jeffrey Star? Uh, I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this figure. I, I've never watched a Jeffrey Star video. I literally only know about Jeffrey Star from like cultural osmosis. Apparently he's like a big, big like makeup YouTuber. Doesn't really have the most positive reputation, but still very popular. It's a little bit like Jake or Logan Paul, where it's like they're massive pieces of shit, uh, and, and like people don't really seem to like them very much on like the broader platform, but they still have a massive platform themselves somehow. It's it's one of those figures, kind of like an Onision, from my understanding. Um, not very well liked outside of the like community that they've made. However, apparently Jeffrey Star. Uh, who, if you don't know what Jeffree Star looks like, you are going to be very surprised by the uh, the look of the person saying what you're about to hear them say. Uh, Jeffree Star went on a podcast, I believe this is a conservative podcast, to talk about the topic of uh, trans people. I believe Jeffree Star is gay, but besides that, um, I'm pretty sure he's like a cis man. So you, you'll see basically the the reason why this person was brought on. And it wasn't... Uh, any wholesome motivations. Let's just say that. Let's just watch. I'm not into all the other bullshit, I think. What other bullshit? The they, uh, the they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm. was so bored on their fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. More stuff, more stuff. You know, oh, I'm not going to pause yeah. it yet. That's where the like, conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no, have a conservative you're vibe to you. Them. You're trans, you're male or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. Mm. How are you with they? What the fuck does that mean? It's stupid, is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Yeah, I could sit here. I could sit here comfortably on camera and say like I I truly just don't understand it. Yeah, and that's okay. But that's as far as I can go. Yeah, it doesn't mean but you're for, hateful. Yeah, and then you, like you said, like you are the perfect vessel for this type of situation. Yeah. You are you steamheading that? Are you making sure that people know? Hey, listen, no, there are I, no I've days and them. A lot about it because I I love doing certain things like in the gun world or like you know, and I go to a lot and do a lot of podcasts for things that not beauty related. And I think mm. that's what's fun. You guys just witnessed the birth of a grift. You guys are witnessing the birth of a grift. So I want to take this video, this clip, apart piece by piece because there really is just so much to go over, right? So. Obviously, the first thing is the absolutely obvious in our face absurdity of somebody who is this gender nonconforming, having the gall to judge other people for how they express themselves and how they identify. Like, I'm sorry, Jeffrey, they're taking you to the camps too. Uh, you'll be way further in front of the line to go to the camps before I am. Okay, I'm a cis straight dude. I just advocate for trans rights. Y doesn't matter what you believe, you'll still be further ahead in the line to the death camps than me, all right? Just to be clear, oh God, it's Barstool Sports. Is that like a, a conservative podcast or is it just a dude bro podcast that kind of ends up being conservative? Because most podcasts like th that are in that ballpark, even if they're not political podcasts, like when they dip into politics, it's right wing. Yeah, it's conservative. Ah, I see. Um, anyway, just right off the right off the bat. Right off the bat. Like, it, it is pretty funny that somebody who is... And there's nothing wrong with presenting this way, but somebody presenting this way, judging others for presenting gender nonconforming, it's like, what are you doing? Your your entire presentation is is gender nonconforming. No, nobody who hates non-binary people is going to accept you beyond your usefulness as somebody to attack non-binary people. We'll get more into that in a minute, though. Let's continue. To all the other bullshit, I think... What other bullshit? The they, uh, the they and them. Yeah. And all that. Okay. The they and the them being bullshit is the most hilarious thing ever. One of my favorite is one of these people say, and I think JK Rowling herself has actually said singular they, them pronouns are not proper English. And yet all the time in Harry Potter and in Hogwarts Legacy and like every other bit of media, singular they, them is used all the fucking time because it's perfectly grammatically accurate and there's nothing wrong with going by they, them pronouns. 
Jeffree Star also paid hush money for sexually assaulting a guy two years ago. Yeah, isn't Jeffree Star one of those people who's been exposed as, like, a predator multiple times? I mean, they're in good company with the right, I guess. Extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm. was so bored on their fucking houses. They I, so this is one of my favorite types of conservative propaganda. This is the irreverent, dismissive type of pro conservative propaganda. Now, I think it's, you know... I think anybody who is honest and has been in politics for more than 10 seconds knows that non-binary people existed before the pandemic. Um, I started my YouTube channel before the pandemic, and non-binary people existed back then, if I remember correctly. I also remember Gamergate, which was also pre-pandemic. Non-binary people were definitely a thing back then, too. And, uh... I'm pretty sure they've been a thing for a while before that. If you look at, like, ancient texts about, like, ancient societies and their their other third genders and stuff like that. Non-binary gender identities have been a lot around a lot longer than the pandemic. But this isn't meant to make an actual argument. The point of this is to basically try and make it seem as though being non-binary is this, like, newfangled thing that teenagers are doing online. It's to be dismissive. It's a more dismissive type of, of propaganda because Jeffree Star, let's be honest, is not smart enough to make a bigoted argument. So instead, it's got to be like, ah, yeah, it's crazy, these trans people. It just started being a thing over the pandemic because people were bored. You know, yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, you know, fuck those people. It's this really weird dismissive form of propaganda. It's it's less aggressive and, and matter of fact as, as what a lot of right wingers will say. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. stuff, more stuff. Yeah, that's why the conservatives like me because I'm just real. Conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no, have a conservative you're not vibe to you. Them. You're trans, you're male, or you're female. I am very excited to see Jeffrey Star go on some conservative podcast and get called like a groomer. Gay Voldemort, accurate. Um, no, but like, I, I seriously, I, I, I want to see Jeffrey Star go on a podcast and get the Blair White treatment. Do you guys remember when Blair White went on that, uh, debate panel and the conservative she was trying so hard to dick ride kept on calling her a man and telling her to grow out her, her facial hair and just live as a man and, and to do us all a favor and stop pretending to be a woman or whatever. She kept saying, and Blair White just kept saying, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm not like the other trans people. I think being trans is awful. I tell kids not to be trans, that they would rather die than be like me. You know, it's like, I, I really need to see Jeffree Star get the Blair White treatment in that respect. It would be funny as hell. And you're standing and on that. so mad when I say that. Mm -hmm. How are you with they? What the fuck does that mean? Google exists. Like, like, one of my favorite things about this type of irreverent conservative messaging is the idea that basically what they'll do is they'll over-exaggerate how complicated being pro-trans is, right? Like, oh, it, like, this person's trans? Let me refer to them as, like, ten different pro pronouns every time I refer to them because it's, it's like, not an argument, but it it feels like one to stupid people. Have you ever seen a conservative YouTuber referring to a trans person say he, they, she, it, whatever, like a, like a list of pronouns and then end it with a whatever when referring to a trans person when they could very easily know the right pronoun and if they just said the right pronoun, like it's literally less breath being wasted. It's not because they're actually confused. They're not actually confused about pronouns or the validity of trans people. It's not that confusing. They're doing it because they're trying to they're doing a bit. They're doing a bit, trying to sort of emphasize how, how they view being trans and, and keeping track of all these pronouns is so hard, when in reality it's not. They can't make an argument, so they try to fake a feeling in response to something. And their response, their feelings-based response, is supposed to be an argument. Or at least the same response you're supposed to have if you're a normal person. That's the vibe they try to give off. Stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Yeah. So we've gotten, I don't understand it. I think it's stupid. And it's not hateful. All in three. All in three. Like, it, it, all in the same argument. Their justifications for not liking non-binary people are, I don't understand it. I'm not hateful, but I think it's stupid. 
I don't really know what else to say other than they're lying. Like Jeffree Star's lying here or, or just being obtuse. Nobody goes out of their way to shit talk to this degree and identity that they actually don't care about. This is them pretending to be disaffected and not caring and talking from distance as if they don't really aren't that attached to it. How ridiculous they think this group is. That's the perspective they're trying to take. Yeah, I can sit here. I can sit here comfortably on camera and say, like, I, I truly just don't understand it. Yeah, and that's okay. But that's as it far as I can go. Yeah, it doesn't mean but you're for, hateful. Yeah, and then you, like you said, like you are the perfect vessel for this type of situation. Yeah. You are you steamhead in that? Are you making sure that people know? So we've got the like, you are the per like literally just saying, hey, you should get into grifting, like as like a token gay like, gender non-conforming person for, like, right-wing ideas, you know? Like, you should do a Blair White. Yeah, okay, listen, I know I'm gonna get shit for it, but is it not, like, is it on purpose? Like, their their way of speaking is exactly the same as Blair White's? Like, is his way of, like, like the whole, like, mean girl kind of way of speaking, is that, like, something that rich, snobby... LGBT people who are white do? Is that like a, is that a thing? Because I'm starting to think that's got to be a thing, right? Weren't they friends? They are probably friends. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Like, it's bizarre to me that there are people out there that will listen to somebody who's as cle clearly as like narcissistic and, and drowning in wealth as this talk down to them. And then they'll like subscribe to that. Oh God, the makeup community is is a trash fire. You are you steamhead in that? Are you making sure that people know? Hey, listen, no, there I, are no I've days in them. A lot about it because I I love doing certain things like in the gun world or like you know, and I go to a lot and do a lot of podcasts for things that are not beauty related. And I think mm. that's what's fun. Yeah, I expect this person to be doing the conservative grift pretty soon. I'm excited to see how that develops. Anyway, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight into how the right tries to sort of recruit people that are uh, part of marginalized groups to push their ideas because nothing sounds better than advocating against the rights of a certain group and that coming from the mouth of somebody who's part of that group. Like, they love that shit. They, they, they hoard on that shit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I think you all know what to do. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.